Already we're hearing questions about her experience. She's never been a judge. Republicans are sounding that alarm. And for more on that, here's Martha now. Martha. Yeah, well, the next hurdle uh, bill for Elena Kagan will be getting approval from the Senate Judiciary Committee. Republican Arizona Senator John Kyle sits on that committee. He voted in favor of Kagan's Solicitor General confirmation, and he joins me now. Senator, welcome. Good to have you back. Thank you much. So talk to me a little bit about you voted in favor of her for Solicitor General, but even at the time uh, you said that you felt that, you know, it was for that specific office. Uh, why would you feel differently? Do you feel differently about her as a Supreme Court nominee? That's right. I made it clear that for the temporary position of Solicitor General, uh, a position that she might hold for a matter of maybe four years at most, um, that I could overlook her relative lack of experience and lack of knowledge about her background. In effect, we can see how well she would do in that position to judge her for a more permanent one. This is a lifetime appointment now that the president has nominated her for, and she is quite young. At not quite 50 years of age, she could serve on the Supreme Court for, you know, 30 or 40 years theoretically. And so it's important for us to have a good understanding of her background that we really didn't delve into so much uh, during the confirmation process as Solicitor General. So, uh, Senator, what do you want to know? I mean, I mean, what do you want to ask her? There, there are two key things that all lead to a central point. The first is the relative lack of experience. And I'm not suggesting that anyone has to have been a judge to serve as a justice, though that's a good uh, experiential basis for it. But her experience is pretty thin, uh, practicing law only for a couple of years, for example. And that leads to the second inquiry, and that is, um, what does she really believe? She has written very little. She's taken very few policy positions. And the one policy position that she took in favor of gay rights when she was dean of the Harvard Law School, directly contrary to congressional law, the so-called Solomon Amendment, uh, troubled many. Her decision, in effect, to put her own uh, gay rights agenda above U.S. law that said that uh, if you're going to take federal money, then you have to allow military recruiters on campus is certainly troubling. So right. A, the lack of experience, and then B, the lack of anything to judge right. that experience by. Senator Kyle, we're, we have to leave it there. Uh, we're up against a heartbreak. We thank you very much, sir, and I hope you'll join us You're again welcome. as we continue in this process. And we want to hear uh, more of what's on your mind as we get deeper into this confirmation process. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.